Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Anilon Nepal. This is a video series of Photon Tutorial. And today we are going to solve a problem using the concepts from the previous tutorial. So make sure to watch them before proceeding here. Now here I am ready with my decision.f95 new file and terminal side by side. Our problem to solve today is the quadratic equation. So ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 is a form of quadratic equation. Now we have to calculate the root of this quadratic equation. It is the second degree polynomial. So it has two roots. We are going to find those roots using the value of a, b and c. So let's start making a program. So let's start a program and I will give quadratic name and program implicit non so how to solve that so this is the quadratic equation x square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and the formula to find the value of x is minus b plus minus root under b square minus 4ac by twice a now for our simplicity we will consider the root part root under part b square minus 4ac as a determinant and we will store in that variable det determinant so x value becomes minus b plus minus det by twice a and we can separate positive and negative so first root will be with the positive in the middle with the positive sign in the middle and second root will be with the negative sign in the middle so this is the formula we are going to use and we will use certain condition if determinant is less than zero if that date dt value less than 0 means square root inside the square root there will be negative and negative means imaginary roots and we are not going to solve imaginary roots so i will consider a b and c value as a real and determinant value and then two answers of x so let them be root 1 and root 2 now what we want is first we want the value of a b and c so we need these three values and using that value in the formula we are going to calculate the root one and root two but instead of giving value in the program directly let's ask the user to give the value of a b and c so for that we have to use another tool of the photon programming language that is called read statement so let me first write uh, and remember this write is uh, write can be replaced by the print but i will use a write statement okay and here i will say enter the value of a b and c okay let me make this longer okay so and okay now i will use another tool called read and you have to write read in the same way as write and we can give the variable name so when we run this program the so first thing program will do is display this text enter the value of a b and c and terminal will ask us to enter the value here we have given three variable in the read statement that means you have to enter the value three times just let's leave it for now okay now when we got the value of a b and c first thing we will calculate is determinant that is the root part so and to calculate the root there is a built-in function in photon programming language that is called sqrt that means square root so square sqrt and bracket and inside the bracket we have to give the value of which square root we have to calculate so i will write b square minus 4 times a times c now let's use the condition of if so if determinant is greater than zero then only we have to calculate because if determinant is less than zero then the imaginary root comes we are not going to calculate the imaginary root right now so if uh, and uh, and if then we have to give the value of root one so root one becomes minus b 
प्लस डी बाय टू टाइम्स ए एंड रूट टू इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस बी माइनस डी बाय टू टाइम्स ए बट रिमेम्बर टू गिव ब्रैकेट हि टू क्याकुलेट द एक्सप्रेसन इन साइड द ब्रैकेट फर्स्ट एंड लेट्स प्रिंट इट आउट सो टू प्रिंट आई विल यूज राइट स्टेटमेंट एंड रूट वन रूट टू ओके सो सिंपल एंड नाउ लेट्स रन दिस जी फोर थन डिशीजन डॉट एफ नाइन फाइव ओ वन सिंपल डी एज न ओ सॉरी वी हैव नॉट डिक्लेयर्ड वेरिएबल डी एक्चुअली आई वाज ट्राइंग टू गिव डिटरमिनेंट डी टी सो डी टी डिटरमिनेंट ओके नाउ इफ वी रन दिस अगेन ओके इंटर द वैल्यू ऑफ ए बी एन सी सो लेट्स गिव द वैल्यू ऑफ ए वन फाइव एंड सिक्स एंड हियर वी गॉट द रूट माइनस टू पॉइंट जीरो एंड माइनस थ्री पॉइंट जीरो वी हैव कंसिडर्ड एवरी वेरिएबल एज अ रियल सो रूट वन एंड रूट टू आर रियल वेरिएबल एंड द डिफॉल्ट प्रिसीजन काइंड फॉर द रियल इज एट सो एट डेसिमल प्लेस इज सोन बट वी कैन रिड्यूस द डेसिमल प्लेस वैल्यू यूजिंग द फॉर्मेट सो टू गिव अ फॉर्मेट वी आर यूजिंग द राइट स्टेटमेंट इन द राइट स्टेटमेंट देर आर टू एस्ट्रिक सो इन द लास्ट एस्ट्रिक we we can replace them by the format and in the for term format is considered as a string or text we say so it should be surrounded by single or double quote and in the bracket for the real variable we have to use f give uh, six place you can give more than that also and uh, decimal place i want just two value now if i run the same program again वन फाइव एंड सिक्स एंड वी गट माइनस टू पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एंड माइनस थ्री पॉइंट जीरो जीरो डोंट वरी अबाउट द फॉर्मेटिंग फॉर नाउ वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट द फॉर्मेटिंग अगेन इन द लेटर वीडियोज सो इफ डेटर्मिनेंट इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो देन वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द रूल्स बट वॉट इफ डेटर्मिनेंट इज लेस देन जीरो सो लेट्स गिव द कंडीशन इन द एल्स एल्स राइट सो आई विल से no real rules uh, let's give determinant greater or equal to 0 if uh, we give only greater sign here then the else represent less or equal to 0 so if determinant equals to 0 it will show the no real rules but that will be wrong so let's give here determinant greater or equal to 0 then only when determinant is less than 0 no real rules will be displayed out now Uh, in the quadratic equation, if a is equal to zero, then that will be no quadratic equation at all, because for the quadratic equation to exist, a value should not be zero. So let's use that condition also here. So I will say if a is equal to zero, okay. Uh, let's give space. Okay. If a is equal to zero, then and let's do and if and here let's use one statement of else so if a is equals to 0 da 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 we will give some statement here if a is not equal to 0 then only we are going to calculate the root so let me put all this statement in the inside the else of that so okay Okay, now we are using the concept of nested if. So else, that means if a is not equals to zero, then we are going to calculate the root. Now, if a is equal to zero, then still we can solve the equation. It will be linear equation. Still we can solve that, and that value will be minus c by b. So let's use that also. Then else. And if okay, and if b is equal to zero, we will write something. But if b is not equal to zero, then that equation is linear, as I said earlier. And we can use the value. So root one will be minus c by b. 
and the root 1 and root 2 value will be same because that will be linear equation and it will have only one value so we can say root 2 is equal to root 1 and we can write we can print we can display any root because they are equal so i'll say root 1 now if b is equal to 0 then what so uh, let's write and let's use one more statement and one thing remember uh, if syntax we have to surround the condition by the bracket okay and let's say if c is equal to 0 then and uh, let's do and if and we are going to write what we are going to write no equation to solve so so that's all of so this is the code of the quadratic equation so you can see here uh, let's read the code once again so if a is equals to 0 b is equals to 0 c if all these three conditions are true then it will display no equation to solve because we will have no equation now if a is equals to 0 but else means b is not equals to 0 then the equation will be linear and we can solve very easily and the root will be minus c by b and we can print out the root but if a is equals to if a is equals to 0 then this happens but if a is not equals to 0 then that is the quadratic equation and we can find the root using the formula of the quadratic equation and inside that also we have one more condition if determinant is greater or equals to 0 then use the formula if determinant is less than 0 then square root of negative so we will write else no real roots one more let's use the formatting here also so formatting uh, okay let's give 0 2 and 6 so we got minus 3.0 and uh, let me use one more value i'll give 3 okay and i'll give here okay 6 and i'll give here 1 okay so we got minus 1.65 and minus 16.35 let's use negative value mm, i will say 1 and i will say minus 5 and i'll say so we got 4.30 and 0 0.70 so this is all about the quadratic equation and uh, Photon does not have the default indentation. We are using spaces just to make the code readable. Uh, you can write simply without any spaces, without any tabs. So this is what happens. Uh, this is the same program and it also works fine. Only problem is it's hard to read. It's not readable. We can't recognize which end if, which is the first if, which is the second if, which is the end if. So it's better to make use indentation to make our program readable. So this video ends here. If you have any question, write down in the comment section and we will continue in the next video.